have us to collect all of the demi guys statues there are 30 in total we're going to start in lower hogsfield just because it's easy for everybody to reach to get the first one and it allows me to demonstrate something now that is if you just want to get them naturally as you're going around Revelio. if you just bless Revelio, you can see that they Revelio. appear Revelio. fairly naturally but according to the quest i could only collect them at night time so just bear that in mind if you see one you may need to just pass time around but anyway that's demi guys number one we're going to move on to number two okay so the next one which is just a bit further south of lower hogsfield it'll be keen Bridge. The cool thing to note is if you just zoom out a little bit and highlight actual Keene Bridge, you can see that it is actually highlighted how many demigod statues you can expect to get in each of the areas. So you can kind of get a feel as to where we're going to be going. In Keene Bridge itself, you can see we're up at the top area. It's just behind a little lock, so I'm going to get that unlocked now. Then we can just walk on in and collect right now, it. Demi guys. Next up, we are in Irondale. You can see just here. Now, if you grab the fast travel point, which we can just see to my left over there. Go up the hill a little bit. We've got this thatched looking strange shaped house. And then inside, I don't think there's even a lock on this. And it's behind the counter. Like so. Next up, we're in Brookborough. And it's to the west of the fast travel point. The building, Let's see, looks a lot like this. Rebellion. You can see that it's going to be just on the inside. We need to unlock our way in though. Just walk on in and pick it up on the left. We have one, if you follow the main road into Hogsmeade, you see this kind of house right here on the map. That's zoomed in right now. You'll need to unlock your way in and head up the stairs. What do we have here? The demi guys. So there's another. Next up, we're at the Upper Hogsfield Village. This just one ahead, pretty much north of the fast travel point. Bardo Beaumont should have returned I think it's this one here on our left. Revelio. Yeah, there we go, see it's right, right there. Now, guys. That bad boy up. The next one, we're at the Piton Ford Village. You want to come to the fast travel point? I'm pretty sure it's almost the... No, it's south. That's south. And you want the tall building. That's how you know where you're going to be going. You can already see it glowing up at the top there. So we're going to head on inside. Straight to the top of the house. We'll find it on our left. Next up, we're at the Iran Shrine. Straight from the fast travel point then. You basically just want to turn to the left or north here, as you might call it. I'm going to head up the stairs. There it is. Heading into Hogwarts then, a good tip for here is if you select a wing, you can see in the top right what you have and haven't collected here. And we have one Demiguy statue in the Great Hall. You come to the main Great Hall fast travel point, you'll notice there's a door that needs to be unlocked. You can come on through. I actually need to make it night time, so I'd better, better make that a thing. I'll be able to pick this one up. Next up, we're going to start from the Tower Clockyard fast travel point. We're going to want to head into the castle, not out of the castle. Cross the bridge. Follow this straight forward. Down the stairs and want to loop all the way around to the back toilet, which is usually locked. I've already unlocked it just because I was exploring. This central out of order toilet here is actually a secret passage to the demi guys. We have three in the library annex. We're going to start here at the divination classroom fast travel point. We're going to head straight up the stairs and up the ladder. There'll be one in a pretty obvious place, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys skip forward for this one. So as you can see, it's right there on the desk right ready for now, us to collect. Guys. As soon as we have nine moons, we want to return to Mr. Moon so that we can upgrade our Alohomora spell. Moon. This is going to allow us to get to even more moons and even more loot. So. Let's turn these in. Now we can continue with our level 2 Alohomora. So next up then, this is the first one where we're going to require level 2 Alohomora. We are at the potion classroom. We literally are at the blue for the potions classroom. We're going to head through the doors. Instead of going into the classroom, we go down the stairs. Where we can unlock this. Head on through the new corridor we've just unlocked. It's insane the amount of, the, the amount of more game there is for us to, to get access to. We're going to unlock this door. And it'll be right in front of us. Okay, so for the next one, you're going to want to start in the library. So it brings up on the map here, so you guys can see the fast travel point we're using right here. And we're going to be heading into the restricted section. Crazily enough, it's no longer that restricted. We can literally just run through the place. Try and be quick as we go down. So down the stairs. And it's basically the exact same path you have likely been through before. So we're just going to go past everything real quick here. You know you're on the right path when you see the chest with the eyeball in it. I've obviously already looted it, so it's kind of relevant right now. But all the way down, all the way down. There's only one way you can go. I know it looks kind of cluttered and stuff, but it's going to be right here on this desk. Here's another one. Here's another level two unlock available. So this is the beast classroom. Click on the bell tower on the northern side there. Basically right at the tra fast travel point, you're going to need to unlock your way into the building. Take a right. It'll be on the table for us. Right now, Next up then, you're going to want to come to the Hogwarts North exit. 
From here, we're going to head back into Hogwarts, obviously. And we're going to go under that tower you can see just ahead of us there. On our little left-hand side, we have a level 1 lock. We can walk in and grab our next demi, guys. Okay, and so for the next one, we're going to start from the Bell Tower Courtyard here. And we're going to want to go up the steps. And you're going to want to go towards this one here, where the kind of hood over it is. It's kind of a bit more southerly. Take a direct left so we can head downstairs. All the way through. Actually jump over this if you want to be a little bit quicker. Turn right at the dragon and unlock this. And then walk in and turn right for the demigods. Next up then we're starting from the Transfiguration Courtyard Fast Travel Point. And then we want to go through the double doors just to the right here. And we get this level 2 lock here that we need to go through. Walk on in. You can see we've got it on the left. The next one is straight up in Professor Fig's classroom. So use that specific fast travel point. Then we can just head on in through the back into the office. It's going to be right there ahead of us. Again, so with Hogwarts done, we could do the last couple of open world ones and then get hot onto Hogsmeade as well. Before heading south, there are some of these that are gated off till end game, but there's only three. So the 26 that we actually need to unlock everything can be done in this initial area for us, which is rather nice. But anyways, we're down in Feldcroft now. Once you've got that fast travel point unlocked, we can literally just head pretty much straight in front of us, which I guess it says east on the mini map. We've got this little cottage right here. We're gonna head inside. It's a level two lock, so we're going through that. We can head on in. Mind now, demi guys. Love the demi guys. Okay, so we're going to start off in Hogsmeade now. We're right at the entrance, and we're going to be heading into Tomes and Scrolls. A friend in here has one available for us, so we're going to head I'm on straight in. Right behind his desk. Rebellion. It's right there on his desk. Look, he loves it. Oh, we got some loot too. Back from the front of the store, then Tomes and Spell Store. We're going to head north a little bit, and we're going to take this first left. See right here. Rebellion. We need to. Unlock this level 2 lock. Hello, and then we can head on inside. Get up the stairs. It's on the little set of drawers for us. Okay, so next up, you want to mark Hog's Head for yourself. We can take a quick run around there. Keeping Hog's Head a bit more flowy. It's a bit nicer to navigate this area. I'm going to head straight in. Welcome behind to the, the bar. Head. Any empty seat is yours. And into the left. Okay, so from the bar, what we want to do is you want to mark this building just to the north of the potion merchant. We're going to go ahead, we're going to run there now. Going up the steps. We can unlock our way in. And then once we're inside, we just want to head up the stairs. We will have the next one. Okay, so back outside, the next thing we want to do is mark the three broomsticks. We're going to be heading upstairs in here. At the very top, there's a locked door. So we just want to make our way over. We want to go up the stairs to the immediate left. Just follow it all the way around. Going up, keep going up. Further up, all the way up the stairs. Get the level one. Hello, Hamora. Lock done. Then we can head on in for the right next now, one. Right now, demi guys. Okay, then the next one I must have accidentally looted early when I was looking around. So from the front of the three broomsticks, you want to come around to the side here. This door will usually have a level one lock on it. You'll come on in up the stairs here and you'll have one just on this little box. Okay, so from back outside, we're going to mark Ladarang's wizard gear. That's basically where we're going to be going next. Don't agree with that trail. We're going this way. <laughs> like, I know, I know where we're going. Mostly. It's a shame we can't fly because it probably would be a bit quicker here. And then as we look at the shop, we want to take the right-hand door. If we uh, reveal it, we'll be able to see that it's basically going to be right in front right of us now, as we go in. Again, so with that one looted, we're going to make our next mark on this building right here, just behind the Honey Dukes. Should pretty much be able to follow the breadcrumb trail, but it's as simple as you might think. We're going to just come across at east. Make a turning as we get to the other side. Plenty of loot in this one as well, so go ahead get this unlocked. And the demi guys will be waiting for right us just now, inside. Okay, so for the next one, we'll head into the, the bit to the north. We'll be going right here. 
So we're going to make our way around nice and easy. Kept all of the rooting for this one. Even if I'm talking crap or whatever. Just because I feel like it's probably better to have something to follow. Yeah, straight across from the shop here. Revelio. I already see that it's there. Look, gets unlocked. Hello. And then we can head on in and pick this one up. Fine now. Okay, so at this point, we are now able to give our demi guys to Mr. Moon. And he is going to be able to upgrade our Alohomora to max level. There are three left, and they are in a southern region that is locked behind now. some story progress. So uh, this video will continue past then, even though it's very tempting to release everything way early. But uh, I will wait until we have access. So uh, catch you guys when we all have availability to that. For Mr. Moon. Lohomora level 3 unlocked. Alohomora. Again, so we're now moving into the later parts of the game and further south on the map. Know that you have enough demi guys to take them to Mr. Moon and get your Lohomora up to level 3 anyways. We might as well get the last few. So we're going to be picking up in Marin Weem, as you can see here. You can see just on the map here that the last is over this way. We're kind of to the just across the river from this little house here. We're going to need to unlock our way in. Alohomora. And then as we approach Rebellion. inside, we'll be in the bottom corner just over there. Next up then we pick up in Bainburg, which is pretty much directly south. Although it's not as much of a straight line because you can't actually fly over the mountain, so you will need to kind of curve around a little bit. Again, you can see where the fast travel point is, and I guess because everything's all kind of a bit close there, you can't really see where I am very well. But basically, as you see on the minimap, the fast travel sign is just over there. We just come into this building. And then collect our statue. And then for the last one, we are in Ragra. So it's a little bit more spread out. As you can see, we have the fast travel point just out to the east there. What I recommend doing, and the easiest way to find this last one, is to come to the merchant that you can see out here. And then when we scan, we can see Demi Guys is just going to be in this little building. And that'll right now, Demi Guys. complete the collection. 